Once in a lifetime, something is discovered that moves the boundaries of knowledge and changes the world forever. Leonardo da Vinci said that uh, there are three kinds of people in the world. Those who see, those who see when they're shown, and those who don't see even when they're shown. I'm going to present this evidence to you for your assessment. This is a letter from the Department of Education and Skills. It was written to Tony Blair and Ruth Kelly, who then passed it on to uh, Catherine Bradshaw. This is dated 3rd of April 2006. As you can see from the opening statement, um, thank you for your letter, 8th of February, addressed to Tony Blair, the Prime Minister, and the 9th of March to Ruth Kelly, Secretary of State for Education. Um, about your research into dyslexia, your letter and enclosures have been passed on to me for reply. Over the course of that correspondence, Ruth Kelly had received four copies of the primary cause of dyslexia and several Leonardo da Vinci site tests. The next letter is the 6th of August and uh, it was sent to Ed Balls who passed it on to Andrew Adonis. Uh, uh, there is uh, other correspondence dating back but this is the most relevant and in this letter Lord Adonis finally concedes to my uh, requests uh, and uh, uh, sends my research on to Jim Rose, who is developing his recommendations for, for his report. Um, this is an article in the paper at the time, 2008, uh, by Joseph Macy in uh, the Advertiser. And again, uh, this is uh, Dave Hillage, who has actually conducted a trial at Staffordshire University based on my research and the Leonardo da Vinci site test, and has actually established that, the, that an orientation preference exists. My research states that the consequences of having this orientation preference it is that it leads to dyslexia. Here is another letter sent to Ed Balls, who passed it on to Sarah McCarthy Fry, dated the 11th of March, 2009. You can see from this letter that uh, additional material was submitted uh, for Jim Rose to assess as part of his review. This was detailed information showing exactly how an orientation preference works. There was also historic evidence and uh, 12 videos showing exactly how the mechanism works of right-to-left scanning. Uh, also, with that, that uh, detailed information, was sent, sent a letter uh, explaining that this process is called Pavlovian conditioning. Ivan Pavlov was a Russian scientist most famous for describing the psychological phenomenon referred to as a condition response. Uh, this is basically where he had a dog and he fed the dog every time he rang a bell and after a month uh, he stopped ringing the bell and the dog was salivating in response to getting his food. So that is what a conditioned response is. Along with that, I explained to him that knowing that this is now an orientation preference, all the other research that has preceded mine suddenly falls into place. And that would be uh, Orton, 1930, Straposimpulia. Uh, he uh, identified uh, this uh, phenomenon where uh, children would misread words, uh, reorientate words, and he called it stuff or symbolia, which means twisted symbols. Newton, 1970, Sangwell and Blakemore, 1962, Beaumont, 1976, Thompson, 1980, Wilshire, 1981, uh, Pavlidis in 1981. When you go back and you look at this research knowing that there is an orientation preference, suddenly that research begins to make sense. Uh, this research is available to any expert who wishes to examine it. For the parents of those children to discover that their, children, that their child does not have a neurological deficit or a psychological condition will be a relief. It will be unacceptable to parents when they learn that their children 
have an orientation preference and that the education system in the United Kingdom is not in a position to help their child. Ed Balls has gone on GMTV and stated after Sir Jim Rose's uh, report that he is going to provide 4,000 new dyslexic uh, uh, teachers and he's going to provide 100,000 in-class uh, one-to-one help for reading, writing and arithmetic. On GMTV he has stated that, uh, uh, and it's here, through Sir Jim Rose's report that dyslexia exists, it is a condition where there should be help for every child in every school. He has made this statement based on the recommendations of Sir Jim Rose. My research is the only research uh, that was sent to Sir Jim Rose that highlighted a primary cause for dyslexia and showed how that dyslexia could be corrected. It went on to show historic evidence. It then went on to say that uh, if you go back and you look at the research that has already been carried out, th this will confirm that my findings are correct. Uh, based on Ed Balls' statement, I am now calling for Graham Stringer to resign. Uh, Graham Stringer is an MP uh, for Blakely, Manchester, who earlier this year stated that dyslexia was a myth and that it didn't exist. But Ed Balls has categorically stated through the uh, Sir Jim Rose's report that dyslexia does exist. I believe that Graham Stringer can not stand as a Labour MP in the coming election. If you have a child with dyslexia, you should establish as quickly as possible whether they're actually scanning text from right to left. You can do this by using the Leonardo da Vinci sight test or if you have uh, transparency or some tracing paper, you can produce words on, on the tracing paper and then reverse the words. And if they hold these words to memory, then they are scanning text from right to left. Once you have done that, you should notify your education authority or school immediately and ask for the help that uh, Ed Balls has promised your, your child. Thank you for watching.